Hello and welcome everyone here. We are back for some more modern action. So we have another Patreon submitted deck list today. We're playing another Heliod Company League. This deck was submitted by King uh, himself, King. Oh Jesus, uh, King. We're just going with King again. We're sticking with King. King Rees. I don't know, something like that. Anyway, uh, don't want to get caught up too long on his name. Uh, we're playing 22 lands, a whopping 22. Bunch of fetches. We got, what's that, 8, 11 fetches, 9 fetches? I don't know how to math, guys. Um, we got some interesting utility lands in Pendlehaven and Horizon Canopy. I'm aware I showed those backwards. Uh, 4 Arbor Elf, 4 Utopia Sprawls, 3 Oriox in the main, and the 4th in the sideboard. Peep the mismatching Oriox champions. <clears throat> Downside of renting cards. Of course, most players don't care, but I do. So, I'm weird like that. Uh, four Conclave Mentors. Three Heliod. Uh, four, not three Heliod. Four Heliod. Four Ranger Captains. Three Skycliff Apparitions. Four Spike Feeders. Four Companies. Two Archangel of Thune. And two Walking Ballistas. So, I know what you're thinking. Why are we playing a five drop in our Heliod Company deck? Not only does Thune combo a Spike Feeder, but it's another way we can win the game. Um, so... This is another way that can we just make our team gigantic. Um, plus, he says whenever you gain life, put a plus one counter on each creature you control. So, this combo no longer just makes infinite... Excuse me. No longer just makes infinite mana. This combo now says, I make my team as big as I want and win the game. And by infinite mana, I of course mean infinite life. I'm just an idiot. Uh, um, yeah, this now says, I make my team gigantic. Which means... Even if my team is just Archangel of Thune and Spike Feeder, I now have a Gigantic Flyer, which, as you guys probably know, in Modern, a 5-drop Gigantic Flyer, who comes down as a base 3-4 already, is hard to deal with. Um, we don't see it being dealt with very often. Um, yeah, it's out of Bolt range. It's out of Push range. It can get Path, of course. Um, but yeah. So it does kind of Nambo with Company, but that's why we're only playing 2. I mean, it's the same situation as Ballista, right? Like, they both Nambo with Collected Company, but they're worth it because of how powerful they are individually. Um, plus, Ballista, of course, is our, another win condition combo. So, Archangel, um, on one hand, I don't like it because I think the idea of just a really good heal out company deck doesn't really need the Archangel. But at the same time, as someone who used to play the um, Kiki Company or Kiki Cord deck, not Kiki Cord, the. Um, <sighs> What's it called? The Serious Seer, Red Cap, that whole combo. Um, I'm a big fan of Archangel of Thune. So, yep. Alright, sideboard. We got one Burnington Fortender because we don't like red decks. One Giant Killer because we don't like... I actually don't know why we're playing Giant Killer. We don't like big creature decks? I don't, I don't know. Four, three Path, three Veils... One Skyclave, one more Ariok, two Wheels Sun and Moon, because you don't want to lose to Dredge or Mill, and then three Damping Spheres. So, um, yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, hop in around one here, see how it goes. I'm excited. Last time we did really well, so let's see. And we want to get back on that winning streak. We've been kind of on a losing streak lately, and I have to get off of it. So, yeah, let's go and hop in around one. All right. So this hand is pretty bad. It's got no acceleration, and it's just a bunch of really high expensive cards. So we're mulligan. Um, I think we keep. I don't know. This hand's not great. Like it's not explosive, but tell me what our opponent's playing. This could be okay. Oh. Are they the same thing as us? I think they might be the same thing as us. Nope, they're just elves. Okay. Alright. Okay, there's straight up elves here with an essence warden. I can dig that. <clears throat> Here's to hope we draw some kind of accelerant this turn. I 
Yeah. I'm not worried about their life total and how it gets. Plus, honestly, out of all the draws they could possibly have had, Essence Warden... I mean, I like Essence Warden because I think it's burn. It's pretty good. Um, hmm. Throwing it deep in the tank there. Um, I don't think we need these upkeep stops right now. I don't, need, yeah, I don't think we need upkeep stops for this deck. I think I want to start. That's something I want to start doing is getting better at the. Get better at not having all these stops set for my opponent's turns when I don't need them. Two drop. Okay, well, next turn we're going Heliod, and I don't know what we're doing after that. Hmm. Maybe we go Spike Feeder instead? Hmm. Actually, I think we go Ranger Captain. Ranger Captain's probably the better choice. Yeah, because Ranger Captain can actually block stuff. Three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, yeesh. We're going to 10 here to play this Ranger Captain, too. Just draw an untapped land here. Uh. Gonna name White. I'm gonna block there, take two, four, six. Yes. Putting walking blist in my hand, I mean. <clears throat> Technically speaking, blist is a pretty good card here. Ugh, what do I do if they I play another lord three, six, seven, eight, nine? We're not quite dead to another lord. But this company is going to... Oh, no, we are dead to another lord. Because we actually go to one. And then we can't use our Horizon Canopy anymore. Notably, we're also just dead to straight up sacking this so they can't company. Um... So that wasn't an option either, plus they could just company. They had our Elvish Shark Druid. Whiff one time. Or hit more stuff like this. I don't care if you hit more dumb dorks or more Dwarven's Elites. Dwindon's Elites. I just need it to not be a Shaman of the pack or a Lord's. No shaman, no lord. No shaman, no lord. Also, this company's got to hit some cards we already have. So, that's that. So we are six mana to one, two, three, four mana. So, yeah, we'd have to... I actually don't know what we could have. Yes, no lords. Okay. 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 That was on the top of their library. Um, 
Um, what? Oh, they were paying mana. Okay, I was going to say, you should only cost one, right? Okay, another realm mocker. I mean, they're going off here. There's not much I can do. If they attack like this, I'm just going to block the Elf Warrior. They choose not to attack at all. So we just have to hit Spike Feeder and Heliod, right? Like, that's the only out we have? No, unfortunately, we don't get it. So if we block one, two, three, so it'll take two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yes, yield. Right? We're just dead, right? Block these three. Take two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You put us to... Well, no, because we take damage before your trigger goes on the stack. We gotta hope they don't see it. Maybe if they don't see it, we can survive. Even then, I doubt it. Right side Helio ought to be a creature now. Hmm. Yeah, they just attack. They got us. Because block three, block three, block three. As fun as it sounds to keep going with Realm Realm Walker, you just attack, right? Alright, well, that'll do it. Yep. Yeah. Alright, so, sideboard. Let's go... Skyclave. We don't care about any of these cards. I don't think Giant Killer is where we want either. Path, though, I think is. Um, I think we can cut Ranger Captain. I think we can cut the Archangels. I think we cut... Uh, Conclave Mentor? Actually, Orok Champion. And I don't think the life matters. I think I think what's important is just that we set up our board. They're not going to have a ton of disruption. Um, they could have Thought Seizes, but I don't think bringing in Veil for the Elf deck is a great idea. Um, even if they do bring in four Thought Seizes or something. Uh, I think if they just, I mean, if they just draw a decent mixture of threats and disruption, we're just going to lose anyway. Okay. It's one land, but... You know what they say. Sometimes you've got to be lucky. So we'll have two mana next turn. I'd really like to draw a third land and go directly into Heliod or even better yet, uh, Skyclave something. Line or Elves. Yeah, I'd like to hit a land and then uh, Skyclave the Elf. We don't. 
white. Hmm. So, I mean, again, I kept the hand because we have literally these two plus the combo in hand and acceleration. <clears throat> yeah. I'm not happy about this, but I'm going to do it. This card's really powerful. Um, plus, it's going to start setting up a board for them. And I'd much rather just stop that from happening. Like, yes, I understand we're ramping them, but I think the added body and all the other effects that come with it are just worth trying to stop. Land. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. God damn it. Yep. I'm dumb. I almost messed up. I, I almost really, really messed up. All right, yep. Another Sentinel good. Coco. Whew, that was a bad one. All right. Pardon me, I actually kind of wishes we would have just gone uh, Heliod because we get Spike Feeder this turn. I mean, I think you play the Nettle Sentinel, right? Like, you don't hold it. There's no reason to hold it, right? Also, keep in mind, Skyclave is actually really good if it can trade off with an Elf. Because then they're going to get back a 1-1 one, one Illusion. And that's a terrible card in their deck. It's just worthless. Depending on what our opponent, what we draw, I think I might Ranger Captain for another Arbor Elf. Are you blacked out? That's so weird. Ranger Captain. Yes. Arbor Elf. Play the Arbor Elf. I'm not going to throw for two. A, they're just going to take it, and that doesn't help me really. Um, also, sacking Ranger Captain of uh, preemptively to stop a collect company is a waste of time. Excuse me, I have to crack it during their upkeep and hope they draw it. This is not where I want to be. That's a lord. It's a good one, too. I mean, if you attack with much stuff, I'm gonna offer some trades here. I'm very happy making that trade. About fucking time.
There's that. There's that. I was going to show you the combo, and if you want to keep playing, we can keep playing. Um, I don't mind. I, I, I think, personally, if you play a combo deck, you should be ready to combo. Um, even if it is annoying. Oh, hey, guys, I forgot the deck list. How could no one tell me that? Sorry about that, guys. Almost forgot the deck list. Um, but, yeah. I think if you're going to submit a combo deck, we can actually bring in damage here for them too, but I'm not going to. If you're going to submit a combo deck, you need to be ready to play out the combo. Eesh, all lands. Honestly, if this had a collected company in it, I would have kept it. Money mouth, we're going to keep. Oof, they went to five cards? This is very well a hand that Walking Ballista could just, depending on what they have play, could just tear it apart. Ranger Captain is not good for a second ability here. Um... Because again, if they have the man at a company, they don't care if they have the company on my turn. It's not that big of a killer. They kept on five. I mean, I've seen some pretty insane elf hands from five, so it's completely possible they could have a bonkers hand here. Of course, them going forest into Lionor elves instead of a black land into Lionor elves. Makes me feel pretty good about things. Metal Sentinel here. You offer the attack. I'm taking one, buddy. No blocks here. We don't block in this town. Um. Honestly, I think we just got to... I think I'm just going to put the heel in the throat. If it doesn't pay off, that sucks, but... I mean, next turn we have uh, Ranger Captain Mana to go with Ballista. Mm-hmm. Ranger Captain Put Ballista in hand Make the trade Again, I'm hap much happier than having a 1-1 one, one illusion than I am a 2-2 two, two elf. Um, we do have this choices. We could have upkeep. Why? You guys see that, right? Huh. 
Okay. Boom. Attack for three. Yep. Unfortunately, upon I think the game's pretty much done here. There's a land. All right. Maybe we're still playing some magic. Let's go Oroch. Spike Feeder. Yes, yield. Arbor. If we get to untap with these two and Walking Ballista, nothing they play survives the rest of the game. I'm just saying. Also, the fact that we can remove counters from you and put them over here is amazing. It's kind of unfortunate that like all three games have kind of been a one-sided showcase. Why do we have a stop in the upkeep still? They have the land. There we go. I guess we're still playing magic. I guess I guess we're still playing magic here. I mean three, four, five, six, seven, eight a turn though. Plus I saw the path for Elvish Arch Druid next turn. Be happy to draw a Conclave Mentor too, actually. I think it's something actually with my computer being laggy. No? Looks like my stuff's good. I really like this path to art path to art exile. Jesus. Path to exile art. No, well, looks like it's not me. There it happened, all right. Down to six. They got to put two creatures into play. Yep. 
Yep, gotta put two creatures in the play. Realm Walker, naming Elf. All right. On to round two. All right, I mean, we're going to keep this hand. It's pretty strong. Barring any discard. If they discard and take our Utopia Sprawl, I think it's worse. Although, I don't even know if Utopia Sprawl is actually the best card to take. Also, as crazy as it sounds, I think we actually need green with Utopia Sprawl. Let's name white. We have a lot more white cards in our deck than we do green. And while we do need double green, we have a second land, and they can't take our land out of our hand. Ah, fucking cleansing wildfire. No. No. No, no, no. Ho, ho, ho. Boom. Also naming white. I'm spreading it out like this because cleansing fucking cleansing wildfire. Alright, well that sucks. Tails end. Oh, that's what they are. Never mind. They're the Lotus Field deck, which that really sucks. Heliod? Oriok? That certainly sucks. I'll let her know if they just completely tap out, we win the game. Potentially. Uh, boom. White. Ranger Captain. Yeah, we're in trouble. This is bad. Also, again, I kept spreading it out because, don't get me wrong, while I much, 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 much would prefer Arbor Elf untapping one land, making a bunch of mana, this is harder for them to then take us off our mana. Although at this point, unless we start drawing really, really well, this game's over. We just don't have anything going on here, and there's just not really much chance we got four cards in hand and a ton of lands and we're not doing anything i'm not gonna play out the sky glade operation on nothing okay Again, I'd rather Skyclave. I can't Skyclave a token. I'm dumb. Point stands, though. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Four or five. Mm -hmm.
We actually need six mana. I guess we could have played Skyclave out naked and attacked for five, but that puts you susceptible to Path to Exile. Mm. That sucks. That leaves him with four cards. Yeah, so they are the stupid. Uh... They have the Lotus Field deck. We have Veils on the board. Done. Oh my god, you have got to be shitting me. I mean, and we can't even untap to wait. Like they just, fuck, man. Oh, if we had one more, one more mana, we could have won. Welcome to game actions that don't matter, featuring our opponent. Boom. I could play a spike feeder, but I just don't want to leave it susceptible to removal. I just want to point out they literally drew two path, three paths, and two lightning bolts. They're they're drawing fire here, literally. There's just nothing we can do. <laughs> what was that I just said a few minutes ago? Welcome to game actions that don't matter, featuring our opponent. This is case in fucking point. I mean, let's just fucking jam it. I don't think it matters. Oh, yeah, it fucking does. They have Teferi. They can tuck it. Yeah, we're cool. Um, I'm not about to waste my time. Um, you're a pipe dream. You're not even that good, I don't think. Just submit. Well, this is how I want to spend the league. I want to spend it losing to control, so... How you guys doing today? I like this deck a lot. It's really strong. It's... I was going to say it's quick usually, but...
We're 40 minutes in again. <laughs> it's our second match. We're 40 minutes in and we're only in our second match, so I stand corrected. Oh, uh, f nope. Fuck. I just realized what they were and I forgot that we were supposed to bring in Damping Sphere. This hand's great. This hand's, this hand's great. Although, shit, actually... We're definitely not supposed to do that. I think we're 100% supposed to put the... Ranger Captain back. I'm just going to get Ballista and hope to draw land. Arbor Elf. Am I dumb? I feel like I could be dumb. Like, that's not, that's not supposed to be like a, like, uh, like I might be stupid. No, I, I feel like I'm fucking retarded. I just totally messed that up. And I know why, too. It's just simply I wasn't going to play Arak Champion this turn, and I wanted to play this so I could company the next turn. Okay. That sucks. Um, Shut up, force and negation. Yep. Always yes, always yield. Always yes, always up, oh, always yield. Yes. Yes. Ballista number two. Play the worthless windswept teeth. Pretty much fucking ready to concede after that, to be honest. Don't really care for the rest of this match. Oh, that's not what I want to do. Yeah, I mean... Pretty fucking dead. The other thing that pisses me off the most here is the fact that, like, We 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 lost to the worst version of Just Guy Control possible, and that that honestly pisses me off so much. Yeah. 
yeah, this match isn't going to be any fun to watch, so let's move on. Alrighty, on the play for round three. Alright, this has fine. Not exciting, but it's fine. It's actually quite exciting. So I don't know about you guys, but these are the hands I sign up for to play decks like this. My name White. Appreciate sure this get go white. If I see a ghost quarter, I'm punching a baby. Okay. They are storm. Veils can come in. Damping spheres definitely come in. Champions come in. Oh, are they just going for it? Yo, they're just going for it. We're just doing a big... A big empty. Or we can just be fucking dumb and almost skip our turn. That's cool too. Alright, you're going back on the fucking upkeep. Boom. Yep. Let's go make it a thirty thirty and then we'll undo it to pump the Conclave Mentor. Boom. Save targets. Yield. Alright. And next turn, we can get Walking Ballista to win the game. So. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I don't... Th I mean, this is a consideration. You guys are definitely in... Um, I don't think I want you. You're in consideration. And so are you. So, obviously, the combos are planned to win here. Um, I think we can cut a Conclave Mentor. 
I think we're going to skip the Skyclave altogether. Archangel seems like a little slow. Ranger Captain also seems eh. I'm thinking we want Wheel of Sun and Moon. And maybe we just cut an Arak champion and just run at 61. It says infinite life. But it's turn four. We've got a mulligan. I think this hand is actually better. I think that's better, honestly. So what I'm trying to do is... Yep. Yep, we're going to go ahead and probably have to Skyclave a Brawl. They miss a land drop, so... Nice 0-4. Thanks, opponent. I'm actually 2-1, but... Thanks. It could still be an 0-3, though. Or a 2-3. You know what? Actually, hold on, let's do this. I don't. I don't care about you. Let's do this. Let's just get the whole thing. I'll deal with you later. Yeah, that's uh, that's some fun salt. I like it. All right, we'll be back in just a minute with the next round. All righty, so we're on the draw. This hand's a little weird, but I think it's fine. Obviously, we're hoping to draw into Heliotter Company. I mean... We're also hoping to evade discard now that we see a bloodstain wire from our opponent. But I think that makes us our champion. Alright, we're gonna fetch here. Oh, excuse me, sorry. White. Okay, burn. I like I like where this is going. I like where this is going a lot. I mean, I guess not if this is not if they drop an idol on this turn, but you know, besides that. Besides that detail, I like where this is going. Uh <laughs> Let's go crack me. Boros charm me. 
So they're burn. So that is actually... Conclave Mentor. Always yes, always yield. Um, I guess it's attack. Spike feeder. I go to three. Okay. Down to up to ten, down back to seven. They can't kill us with one card. Uh, this game's probably over with. Yeah, so this game's probably over with at that point. Uh, we want the other Arc Champion in for sure. Um, probably Burnington Forge Tender and possibly Path to Exiles. Uh, actually, Skyclave Operation and possibly Paths. Um, so, this is a matchup where I actually think I want the Archangel of Thunes. Um, cut you. I think we're going to trim. I know it's weird, but I think I'm going to trim all the Arbor Elves. 
I'm gonna cut a walking ballista. I know that's weird, but I just don't think Arbor Elf is gonna survive very long. Um, because of how many burn spells they have. We got a mulligan, unfortunately. Just unkeepable. I'm mulligan that one, too. I mean, I, I guess. This one sucks pretty bad, too, though, so... Goblin Guide? Of course. Lands. Hell yeah. Don't you know how this goes? Mm-hmm. All right. Keep in mind, also, Skullcrack uh, prevents this from not dying in combat. So, if we get Skullcrack this turn, I'll cry. <laughs> Just saying. Ooh. That was certainly the wrong order to do that in. But I'm definitely not going to complain. Yes, yield three, six, seven, eight. I mean, we got to draw in the spike feeder, or we got to hit company in a spike feeder, whatchamacallit, so, or we die. Well, we certainly failed to hit it, but yes, Ballista, let's see, so if I were to crack this because they draw a burn spell, it wouldn't matter, we're still dead. If they have a burn spell, they win. That's just... That's game. Why are you fucking... Oh my god. I, that always boggled my mind. Why are you not going to just do that in the beginning? You got us dead on board. I'm going to the same way. Like, you have us dead. End of discussion. There is no ifs, ands, or buts. And you just choose to wait? I don't even get that. Like, there's no extra information to gain. You're not going to find any interesting tech card we have in the deck. Like, <laughs> you're, you're going to see the same deck that, we've, that you know we're playing. Uh, the almost stock version of this deck, which I don't know at this point, it might even be stock. I don't know. I'm going to keep it. I'm not ecstatic about it, but it's probably okay. Naming white. Swiss fear. I 
Bernie said Forge Tender to hand. If you're asking why I'm grabbing Forge Tender, the answer is very simple. I think Bernie's in Forge Tender is the best of our one drops we have left in our deck. That's unfortunate, but it's fair. Now, next turn, we could play a Ballista to kill this. Nah, fam. We're going to go Orok Champion. Play Burning to Forge Tender. Always yes, always yield. We're going to pass like this, I think. Shirt down to eight. company wow you have got to be kidding me wow holy shit we just lost i don't i don't know how we didn't don't just lose from here now man if they got skull crack i'm gonna Sack this to count to prevent the damage from skull crack. Wait, what? Oh, I get you. All right, we go to four for a forest. Fortunately, that's not good enough either. Orok champion. Make a 1-1. One, one. Yep. I mean... If our opponent whiffs... Draws a land or something, we get another turn. Final round. Well, we are on the draw, and I mean, this hand's not bad, right? Like, I'll keep it. You know what? This hand is not as explosive as the deck wants to be, but it's not bad. If 
fuck. We immediately then draw the worst card we could have drawn, which is any land in our deck. Ooh, no push and a turn. Surprising. Very surprising. Ooh, swamp. Are we getting smallpoxed? Oh, hex mage. Okay. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We good. We Gucci. All right, let's go. Shock you. Play you. White. Uh, untap you. Don't know why I untapped actually. Didn't need to untap. This card's interesting. Wonder what they're doing with it. I'm hundred percent taking one here, so no concern there. Blood gassed. Are these some kind of weird ass vampires? Sure. That's some weird vampires. Yeah, because I do want to get rid of this one because it can just stop our combo. Please attack. Darn. Our opponent knew what was happening. Our opponent, how, does, how do you say, been there before? Worst card in our deck to draw. Draw. Next to worst card to draw. If you guys want to see reasons why not to keep really bad land filled hands, this is one right here. Mm hmm. The hell? What? Why are you are you like mono black infect? Like why else would you play this card? Sure. Yep. Sure. 
Okay. So they are some kind of vampires deck. So that makes more sense. By the way, it's on topic of things that make sense. Heliod. I'm going to play around them having a potential push. Ooh. Alright, well, let's see. Do you have push? Same targets. Always yield. Yep. Oh shit, fuck. Well, we didn't account for me fucking up the combo, so there's that. Yeah, we, we did not account for me fucking up the combo. So. Yikes. Well, if it makes anyone feel better, I uh, fucking yep. That's my that's one of my biggest fuck ups I've had in a long time. Yep. Yep. Cool. Yep. It's fine by me. Oh, that's so annoying. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. We should be like a hundred, two hundred life right now, honestly. But instead, I fucked up. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say I'm not fucked because I messed up, but I'm pretty fucked because I messed up. (laughs) 
Company. Well, that's going to do it. We lose. I guess they don't have a black card on top. We're not dead. But they got to have, like, a, not a black card on top for, like, three draws. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Why would you just Inquisition? Oh, because you're gonna cling. <laughs> yeah, that's a fucking game. So seven, fourteen, twenty, because they're all flying. That's on me. That That's directly my fault. That's directly my fault. Uh, we want you. We want you. We want you. Maybe you? Um, so they're a lower mid-range deck. I'm going to cut you. I think I'm going to trim one of you. I think I'm going to trim one of you. Trim one of you. Trim some number of you because they probably have pushes. Maybe not bring in veils and submit. I don't know. We only have two ballistas. I don't want to take them out. Because at any point there had we won drawn ballista, we could have won the game. So. I mean, overall, the deck's been fun. I've just, I, yeah, fuck. I don't know how I fucked that up with Spike Feeder earlier. That was just stupid. Um, yeah, I mean, we, sh we shouldn't have lost this first game. Um, and again, it's no difference between paper and, like, actual magic. Is like, I mean, paper and online is, on um, paper... You can name the arbitrary large number you want to go to, and then from there, you're done. You don't have to click through the sequences. You know? Because we just would have said, okay, we're going to, you know, 100 million life and pass turn. And from there, your opponent can't reasonably kill you unless they have an infinite combo of their own, or they deck you, or some strategy like that. I will play first. This hand fucking sucks. But if we draw a second land, we're in great shape. This Prismatic Vista needed to be a regular fetch land. We're gonna mulligan. This hand's better. Forest White. Yeah, next turn we can go hmm. I think we just pass there. Hope that if they have any interaction, it's Inquisition. Hex Major, right? Hmm.
Huh. Land? I mean... That is technically a land. Ish. Yes. Yield. Hmm. And next turn we get to go real big. I mean, the Inquisitionists, they got to take one of our really good cards. But they're basically going to choose. Do they want to try to stop our combo, or do they want to stop our spike feeder? Or, well. Okay, that's fine. No attacks. So... There's that. Yes. Walking Blista. Actually, give you Lifelink. Put it on you. Okay. We could bring a veil. I just don't know what to cut other than like archangels and a sprawl. Too late. All right. Well, like I said, I didn't know what to cut anyway, so we didn't cut anything here. Um, this hand's all removal. I don't like it, but I'm going to keep it. The fact that we can deal with almost every single card at their first couple threats comes Thoughtseize. Now you see, this is also something that we don't mind getting discarded here. Uh, they'll probably take a Skyclave Appar Apparition because it's just one of the best cards in our deck. Plus, this card can be infinitely painful for them. All right, well. That'll do, Pig. That'll do... Ooh. All right, we trade. We trade the... Uh, they got the Conclave Mentor, but we're about to get our better two drop. Yeah, fetch. Ooh. Alright, we're gonna fetch again. There we go, Auroch Champion coming in. I gotta say, I like the idea of their deck. It's definitely interesting. Plague Engineer? Ooh. Naming human. Yikes. That sucks. Yep. We actually don't have any other clerics right now, so I don't really care the name cleric. Plus, if I start to care that much. Also, like, we don't mind them having a spirit.
There's that. Mm, I'll take an Arbor Elf, I think. No. Naming Heliod or Spike Feeder is the question. Heliod it is. So now we just play the Can We Outvalue Them game? I'm alright with that. Plus I still can't attack in now. Here we go. We still have a path for their big vampire lord. Hmm. I'll take two. Another hex mage, sure. Down to nine. Block the other. Yep. Hmm. Ooh. Liliana. Boom. Kill you. Yep. Hmm. Yep. Yep, pass it. We go to four. Spike feeder. Down to five. Yep. Oh, 
Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm I'm incredibly not happy about this. Yikes. I mean, well, at least our deck has been consistent. We have drawn terribly when we needed to draw really well the entire match. So, like I said, at least we're staying consistent here. And do we even have anything in our deck that can stop us, save us? No? Ranger Captain for a Ballista... Make a 1-1 one, one Ballista. This, if it has flying, we just lose. Cool. We went 2-3. That was pretty shitty, I'm not going to lie. Um, get the fuck out of here. I mean, the last match was pretty cool. Um, yeah, I mean... Burn was just a really close matchup. We just could not get the pieces together. That was kind of the story of the entire league. We just could not get the pieces in the right orders when we needed them to for most of the league. And unfortunately, that just happens. Um, deck's super sweet. I really liked it. Archangel of Thune was a pretty cool idea. Never really actually got to see it played. There were a lot of matchups there. just too quick. We wanted to side it out. Um, but anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos of this, go to the subscribe button. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video.